Greetings, everybody. I am in Mexico right now, in Puerto Vallarte. Probably saying that wrong. And I'm actually at a cemetery. You may notice it behind me. This cemetery is beautiful. It's a beautiful cemetery, but all throughout here I'm noticing uh, tropical almond trees. And they're used for shade, I think. Maybe not where I am right now, <laughs> but if I come in a little bit closer, uh, yeah, it just like dropped like 30 degrees. These are set up along the, the graves here, I think, to give a little bit of sun protection for people that are visiting their um, passed on loved ones. Tropical almonds are also edible. In the past, I reviewed them when I was in the Seychelles, I think? Yeah, in the Seychelles, and uh, they're a pain to open. You can eat the nut on the inside, but you gotta like really hack away at it. And when I did it in the past, there was like a lot of them that, that were empty. They opened it up, there was no kernel. So a lot of trouble for, for nothing, but since then, people have mentioned to me that you can actually eat the fruit on the outside, which I didn't do. So, this seems like a good place to do it. So here are a few of them, and I think this is probably like a different species than the one that I um, reviewed in the past. The ones that I reviewed in the past were like big, red, and hard. Uh, this one seems to be uh, yellow and a little bit softer. There's a few on the ground here too. It might be one that fell naturally. Yeah, this one is uh, a bit softer. I'm gonna try the one that I picked off the tree just because you know it hasn't been on the ground. Nice uh, mild fruity smell, kind of like a mango. It's giving me some serious dry mouth, but the flavor there is okay. I think this is maybe not ripened all the way. Let me try the other one. So this one has been on the ground at a cemetery. Maybe not the greatest idea to eat something like this. Could make you sick, I guess, depending on what it fell on, but whatever. Weird. That tastes like peaches. Almost exactly. It does still have a little bit of astringency to it, but not a lot. It's got a hint of like a bitterness, but the, the kind of bitterness that you get from a peach. And a little bit of that astringency. The sweetness is maybe a little bit, well, it's less than a peach. It's not super sweet. I'd say it's like a four out of 10, a little bit less than the sweetness of an apple. And yeah, wild. I was not expecting this to taste like a peach. I figured it would just taste kind of like sweet, but yeah, it's got a distinctly peachy flavor. Uh, so I'm a little weirded out eating this thing, but if it weren't dirty, I would be eating more of it. And what's cool is that you could also eat the nut on the inside. So let's see if I could do that. didn't get completely smashed and obliterated. It tastes kind of like an almond. Somewhere between like an almond and a peanut. Maybe not quite as strong tasting and um, maybe not as sweet, but similar enough to an almond. You can see why people call it a tropical almond, but um, yeah, interesting. So this is a very useful plant. Useful for the fruit, useful for the seed, useful for the shade definitely worth uh, taking another look at. All right, so I think that's about it. See you next time. I would like to give a big shout out to Daniel Roche. Daniel is a super patron over on patreon.com. Patreon is how I can continue to keep this series going. So Daniel, thank you very much. To anyone else watching who is interested in learning more about Patreon, I put a link to it in the description below. Uh, another way to support the channel is to buy a shirt. I've got t-shirts like this one right here over on my website, which I also linked below. Thanks so much.